Good evening everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I got this amazing comments in my YouTube channel and this is all about the road lighting design. But he commented, his name is um, Francis. He said, how do you do the design for the bridges, uh, bridges using the Dallax Evo? Okay, so how do we do the lighting design calculation for the bridges? It's very good. Okay, so Francis, there are, uh, I have two questions about this because um, when you do the, the, the lighting design for the bridges, it's either you do it architecturally or uh, technically using the road lighting design calculation. But I have three projects here right now. Boom, look at this one. It's an amazing project in India. Okay, so this is a combination of architectural bridge lighting and also road lighting. You see, I added a calculation surface here. This is for the road. And also look at this one. The concept of the bridge is like a flame or a, a flame or a candle. So I added, look at this one, a blue floodlights on every uh, brace. Look at this one. Oops. Yeah. And then there is um, floodlights also inside because there's a, there is a um, fabric here inside of this flame or candle. <laughs> so you see the effect of the blue. So there are two ways to do that. So you will run a calculation for a road. Oops. You will do a calculation for a road and you will also do the calculation for the architectural. There's another one here. So this one is in uh, Abu Dhabi. So we did a calculation for the road lighting as well as for the architectural. Look at this one. It also looks amazing. So I have some linear floodlights here and also um, floodlights. Those greens and those whites are linear. Uh, those blues and whites are the linear floodlights. And this one also is a linear one and it's aiming on the braces with a narrow beam. This is amazing. I can't believe I did, I did this one before. And there's another one here, and this is called the Infinity Bridge. Actually, this is um, revision number two. We already have one, which is the calculation. I'm not going to open this one because it's too heavy already. I have uh, three uh, files in Evo running now in my uh, desktop, so I'm not sure if it... It, it still can handle four. So this is the uh, infinity bridge and it has a colors compared to this one which is of course you can see it's just um, uh, one color. Okay so the concept of this infinity bridge is to highlight the bridge under the bridge and also those braces. Okay so this is one option only blue and one color. Option one is three colors because they want to play it in the UAE day okay and this is the original design from the rendered uh, image from the architect or uh, i think from the um, structural engineer okay so yeah this is the infinity bridge so what we did for this project this is just a regular uh, architectural lighting calculation so we did not do the road lighting and for this one the makta bridge we did both the architectural and uh, the road lighting so if you want to show to your client the road lighting go and check this one street lighting calculation there's another option here and you can see i run a calculation and everything is check 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 here yeah all are checked and what you will do when you uh, use it in your uh, architectural flood uh, architectural lighting design because you need to integrate this one in in that uh, architectural lighting design so just get the spacing and the height and the tilting and the offset from the road and you can see this one is 30 meters distance at 8 meters height and offsetted from the road is 1.5 so you just need to integrate it here which you can see right now is uh, if you go to the plan view it says let's see um, yeah so it's 30 meters and if you go to the elevation view, you, it should be something like 8 meters. Okay, 7, 
Yeah, it should be 8 meters. Okay, so you need to uh, uh, run a calculation both for road lighting design calculation at the same time for uh, the architectural lighting design calculation. I love it. Look, there's a man here. <laughs> Amazing. And for this um, Cherubu Bridge in India, yes, we do the road lighting as well and also the architectural lighting design. So for this one, uh, because in India they required lux level in lux value in the in the road lighting calculation, not candela per square meter. I don't know why. That is their way. So what I did is I ran a calculation surface on the bridge and we used our uh, Oros uh, road lighting luminaire. This is what we use for, um, uh, what is that, that uh, famous bridge in Dubai, uh, the Maidan. Yeah, the Maidan Bridge in Dubai. Yes, that is, this is the, the luminaire that we use for this, uh, that we propose for this project. Because they restricted the poles on the bridge because uh, the client says, actually it's the government, it's the client. The, the, the officer, the official said that the, the pole on the bridge doesn't look good because it's, yeah, it's standing on, uh, on the bridge and it's blocking the view of this flame uh, concept of the bridge. So, but I ran a calculation before and they want this um, uh, decorative fitting but they rejected it because uh, it's, it's, it really doesn't good because it has a pole. So, so what we did is, yeah, we suggested the Oros uh, and uh, yeah, they like it. Unfortunately, we lose the project because I think our fitting is too expensive. Okay. Uh, I think we got something, but not everything. All right. So for you, Francis, uh, that's how we do our bridge lighting. Okay. You need to run both the architectural and similar to road lighting because bridge is still a road. Okay. And uh, so, but if your project is just a road lighting or bridge lighting, no architectural, then just, sim just run it in a, a regular road lighting calculation. But for example, if it's similar to this one, it's a combination of both, you, then you need to run a calculation for both. And you may be wondering or may, you may be asked that the effect of uh, the architectural flood lighting will affect the road lighting. It doesn't matter. So don't worry about that. Focus on the road lighting first. When you achieve it, then go for the architectural because it's just a minimal effect on the lux value so don't worry about it all right so thank you for watching and i hope you like this uh, video and by the way i would like to promote i'm going to have a training on march 26 that would be next week it will be a dialax evo basic training dialax evo 9.2 so go and check it if you want to enroll, go and check in my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and go to the shop and you will see it here. Go and enroll. Okay, so this is uh, EVO 9.2. Let's see what will happen and uh, what is the new about EVO 9.2 basics. So go and uh, enroll now. Uh, March 26th is the start. So it's a, a eight days online training. It's two hours every day. Okay, so it will start on March 26 and end on April 17. So if you're not busy and if you have a uh, little money saved in your account, go and join with us this uh, Dialogs Evo 9.2 8 days online training. Alright, so see you again on the next video. Bye!